AJ Backpackers was very different from other hostels I've stayed at. Not in its amenities or proximity, for it was a 10 minute walk from Hastings. What differentiated it was that I was the only backpacker staying there. All the other guests worked in Hastings. Almost all of them worked in the apple orchards while the season was still open. I was even offered a job on the orchard, but I was in Hawks Bay for the wine. Hastings is a small town. Napier, 30 minutes away on the coast, was the main tourist destination in Hawks Bay. Unlike the South Island, cafes were open early in the morning. John's was the first time I've had a stack of pancakes with the bacon sandwiched in between. A few kilometers south of town was On Your Bike, a bicycle rental for wine touring. After getting a map, a packed lunch, and a helmet, I was off to discover the wines of Hawks Bay. Round trip it was about 30 kilometers, but the terrain was very level, so it wasn't arduous. The first winery on my map was called Gatara. They had a Syrah called Silks, which was really good. I even bought a bottle to take with me. My next stop was Te Awa. What I like most about this winery is you could taste nine different wines. The lady behind the counter even let me try a reserve that was not on the list. Just down the road was Trinity Hill, a major producer in New Zealand. By this point, I was beginning to see the drawback of biking to wineries. With 8 to 10 tastings per visit, I was feeling pretty buzzed, and it's a punishable offense in New Zealand to be drunk on a bike. I had three more wineries to go, so I cut back to about four wines per tasting. Salvari was my favorite winery in Hawke's Bay. Not only were all their wines good, but I was taken to the vines that could eat the same grapes my wine was made from. They also had olive oil and vinaigrette tastings, which was quite unique. Alpha Domus was next. The one thing that surprised and pleased me the most was that all the tastings were free. The wines were fine, but the pour seemed a bit rushed. I didn't have enough time to linger and savor my wines. My last stop was Abbey Cellars. I'm sure their wines were fine, but after five wineries, my taste buds were a little fried and I wasn't getting the nuance of the grapes anymore. Wine touring by bike is one of the most enjoyable experiences I had in New Zealand. You must try it. In Hastings, I found a small Turkish cafe for $15, I got a large plate of rice layered with grilled chicken and lamb. It was a perfect dinner after a long day of cycling. <laughs> 